Hey, South family, wanted to give kind of a week one update um, for sabbatical. Uh, first, we've missed you all. Uh, second, I would say this, um, in trying to sabbatical, that is to have um, consecutive days of Sabbath rest where uh, I'm worshiping God and connected with his presence where I'm trying to take away the distractions of the rest of the week and, and work, which that's what Sabbath is and that's what sabbatical is. Man, that's hard. Uh, one of the things I've figured out is I'm really addicted to doing. And so um, I've been, it's been hard to slow down my brain. It's been really hard to move from working in the church to being in relationship with Jesus. And I bet that's something we all face. Um, week one was a lot of, of kind of coming down and wrestling with these emotions, uh, the balance between being with God and doing stuff for God. Um, really the highlight of this last week was getting to worship with, um, with my girls, to worship God um, to not have to do stuff, but to, to, to strive to be with God. And there was a moment where I felt um, God speak to me and, and touch my heart. And we were in worship and they sang this song called The Goodness of God. And I just want to read some of the lyrics to you. Um, in this first week of sabbatical, this was really, really good. Uh, the song says this, I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. And then the chorus goes on to say, and all my life you have been faithful and all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire. In the darkest night, you are closer like no other. I've known you as a father, I've known you as a friend, and I've lived in the goodness of God. Um, I That song touched me because in some ways as I reflected, um, it, I had each girl, uh, Lila and Lexi, on either side of me, and then to be able to reflect on what God has been doing um, was really, really powerful. Um, so I'm thankful for this time away. Uh, the one application I have um, for, for me personally, and then I'd like to pass on to y'all is this, is that um, prayer is not a laundry list. Prayer, I have learned in this week, is seeking to be in the presence of a father who wants to be with us. And uh, I've been saying this little simple prayer um, over and over, and it comes from um, from a book by Brendan Manning, and he says, uh, as you breathe, breathe in, just say, Abba, Father. And then as you breathe out, say, I belong to you. Um, Father, I belong to you. And that is, um, that's our prayer. That is one of the things that is the prayer of my uh, time away is that I would be able to feel the presence that I just belong to him first and foremost, and that he loves me. And I hope that maybe you would practice that. I, what I've figured out personally is, man, it's really hard to just do that, to just really believe that I am his, um, that 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 um, he loves me like that. And so I just invite you to try try this, two, three, uh, maybe five minutes of, of meditation on that. Abba, Father, Daddy, God, I belong to you. Um, what a great, great way for all of us to focus on the Lord um, now and in this coming week. So, hey, thank you all for this time to really be able to focus on relationship with the Lord. And I hope that um, I might share a few nuggets here and there that will guide you this summer as you're refreshing as well.